While for most people helium is a bit of fun, filling party balloons and sending voices sky high. But it's also crucial for medicine, manufacturing and defence. And there are warnings now that the gas could soon be a lot rarer. They're the life of a party, but one Nobel Prize winner says helium is ridiculously cheap and the humble balloon should sell for $100 a pop. Balloons are vital to the business. Um, I'd say they're the real backbone of it. They make up at least 50% of our sales. No one's going to pay $100 for a helium balloon. It would pretty much be the end of it, obviously, for us. Helium shortages are nothing new. Export bans meant the ill-fated Hindenburg used hydrogen instead of helium in the 1930s. But this time there are fears that without urgent action, US reserves will run out. I think we should be concerned because so many important technological applications of helium exist. The world's biggest helium reserves are in the US, but it plans to sell the stockpile within five years, depleting supplies and prompting fears of a global shortage. It's hard to imagine a world without microchips, MRI machines and research like the Hadron Collider in Switzerland. They all need helium. The problem is it's not renewable and there's no viable way to extract it from the atmosphere. And extracting helium from natural gas fields is an expensive business. The first plant in the southern hemisphere opened in Darwin this year. So far, it's meeting all Australia's needs and providing up to 3% of global supply. It's now running at full capacity and we're exporting product to particularly Asia as the, our main market from this location here. Australia's a small but significant player and rich natural gas deposits mean there's potential to grow the industry. There is opportunity. The, the, um, the issue will be that of um, commercial viability. So until there are cheaper ways to harvest helium, the race is on to protect supplies that were billions of years in the making.